So waiting for participants to join. Great. Hello, Camilla. How are you? Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing fine. It's good to hear you again. Yes. Yeah. Good. Good. How was how was your day today? I had a good day. All right. Fine. Fine. That's pretty good. So yeah, too hard, too hard work, but good. Okay. A lot of hard work, but it was a good day. All right. Yeah. Sounds just great. So, well, uh, yeah, it's just let me fix something here. One second. Okay. I'll come back to my mic. All right, okay, I'm back. Oh, doesn't help. So, uh, sorry about that. So, well, let's begin with today's lesson. So, uh, we are going to work on uh, focus groups. I don't, I don't know what happened to the other people. Let me just uh, see if there is anything in the chat. All right, good. So uh, yesterday, Camila, just uh, for you to know, yesterday we worked on uh, we worked on product uh, testing strategies, mm -hmm. and uh, we had a, a nice talk. So uh, also, you should uh, start working on your platform. Romulo, how are you? Doing well, teacher. Thank okay, you. Okay, great. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I was I was telling Camilla that we should also start working on our platform, so uh, so we don't have any problems on the weekend. Though uh, we are not not yet we're not yet handing in uh, grades, but it's important that you start moving on so you don't have too much homework next week. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So it's not like. Uh, super mandatory to finish uh, today or tomorrow, but uh, start moving on because we have a, a deadline, which is, um, which is uh, next week. Next week is the limit, is the deadline. Hello, Aleida, how are you? Hello, um, good. Good, all right, and uh, are you feeling better today? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's good. It's really good. So, well, it's time to move on. So, uh, today we today we are going to talk about.
focus groups. Okay, that's the idea. Though, uh, we will begin today's class this way. Uh, we are going to imagine this. Okay, I want you to think about a problem, imaginary, an imaginary problem, and write it on a small piece of paper. Okay, so get a small piece of paper and write that problem there. Okay, and uh, I will explain you later what we're doing. So please, in a small piece of paper, like in a post-it, write a problem, an imaginary problem that you have. It can be at work, it can be at home, it can be with your car, it can be with your neighbor, whatever. Just a problem, okay? Let's do it. So in a small piece of paper, write down the problem, please. Do it. Right? Are you guys uh, ready? Okay, great. Okay, Shane is here. Hi, Bishop. Hello, hey, it's been a while. How are you feeling now? I'm not good, okay. I'm the half, half feeling. All right, I see. So, uh, the which ones did, uh, what kind of surgery did you have? Did you have a, a molars removed? I have a three surgeries uh, and and uh, vesicula. I don't know the name and mm -hmm. my intestinos so tenía doblados y tuve una un duodeno, una un traspaso de líquido biliar del duodeno hacia mi estómago. Jesus! <laughs> wow, that's and was that an emergency or just a a, a regular? surgery no, that's an emergency teacher. it was an emergency okay yes. and and i have the the painful in my tooth <coughs> my okay. teeth wow so on top of all of that on top of the intestines the tooth wow yes. man that's a lot of that's a lot of problems yeah just yes. stay here for a while and uh, when you don't feel if you don't feel well you can you can leave but just stay you know and and do the same every day until you get better all right good guys so let's see all right welcome let's see what problems do you have please show your statement on the screen all right show the statement oops i don't know what all right let's see if we can get get closer Ooh, it looks like a big problem over there yeah, but, <laughs> Oh, uh, this is uh, I understand my my writing. Okay. But uh, if, if if you want, I can. Yeah, read uh, it. <laughs> read, read. Yeah, read. Yes, it. <laughs> read it. Okay. My problem is when the, I walk I walk up in my neighborhood, and some people uh, don't care about uh, the your pet, specifically when the pet uh, make and I don't know if this is correct. Make poop. Uh, oh. Poops when the pet poops. poops. Yeah, 
and the people is uh is responsible don't pick it up the the poop the poops. All right. they don't pick <laughs> up the poop for me this is a uh, um it's a problem and it's a problem i think really. the, yeah okay. the people i, I think uh um uh, uh, the people that uh, chill 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 no uh, the people chill uh you take care about the that problem okay because okay. because obviously this is uh, education right yes yes so uh now let's imagine this happens right in front of your house. Ah uh, yes, it's uh, so sometimes it, it does happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it does happen right in front of your house. So hey guys, any advice for Romulo? This happens just in front of his house. Thank you. His neighbor, <laughs> his neighbor's dog poops in front poops in his uh in his entrance, in his uh, front, uh, in his front yard. So, any advice for Romulo? Anybody? Anybody? Any advice for him? Uh, yes. I, Lee, uh, go ahead. Uh, Romulo, you should pick up the pup, the dog pup, and give the the housing neighborhood. I have a big problem too, and um, the dog. In front of my house, I pick up the the poop, and I live in the in the other house. The the own the dog. Oh, okay, so wow, that's a very extreme solution. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> because it is is there is no the, problem, the, right? It's their responsibility. Uh, yeah. Okay, and you know you're sending a very strong message you're sending a very strong message you know I, I actually like your solution it, it's very straightforward all right very good very good now uh let's see camilla uh well before you re you read yours i want to ask you hey guys uh do you have any any other suggestion for romulo maybe camilla's is a very strong is a very strong one but let's see if you have any other suggestion for Romulo. Any other, any other uh, advice? Mm, well, I personally think uh, you should talk to your neighbor next time. Watch him at the time they take, uh, they walk their dogs. Like uh, they walk their dogs at four, so you keep an eye, keep an eye on the on on your neighbor, and uh, tell them, you know, uh, you pick, be responsible with your dog's poop. So you pick it up, you keep an eye, okay? Keep an eye, como estarse pendiente, verdad? O echarle ojo a alguien, right? Keep an eye. So keep an eye on your neighbor. That's my suggestion. Good. Now, Camilla. Camila, in your case, what is your problem? My problem is um, the bad, uh, bad water services by Amber. Say, say that again, please. The bad, uh, bad water services service okay. by Amber. Wow, uh, that's everywhere. Bad water services like everywhere, okay. Great. So, well, guys, any advice? Any advice for Camilla? Any advice? Should Camilla go and protest peacefully on the streets? Or what can she do? Please, anybody, help, help, help. You guys have to help here. bad service so what what should she do my my word to you have to call and all right good okay that the another is organize the community then and oh um, right. uh, no, no 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 kind of protest but uh, <laughs> but sometimes it's a uh, functional organize and then 
expression by the uh, uh, visit uh, the, the the service, right? All right, good. Yeah, that is a, that is absolutely that's a great solution too, to um, to organize your community. Good. All right. Thank you. And uh, any other suggestion for her? All right. Any other? Any other? All right. Now let's hear Aleida's problem. What seems to be the problem, Aleida? Um, I have insomnia. I don't sleep for five days, and I have I have had tea, but but it doesn't work. Okay. Great. So. Oh, this is a that's a big problem because insomnia insomnia doesn't uh doesn't help at work so you feel tired at work sometimes you look angry in a bad mood so guys please any advice for aleda about her insomnia let's hear anybody anybody yes please yeah. for me it's uh, my body Huh? Sorry. I, I think Belen, uh, Maria Belen said something, right? To have some tea, you said, right? All right. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's a option or uh, take a um, tablet to mel mel melatonin ice, ice cream. So, uh huh. It's natural. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I mean, I used to take one called Ansios Groll. I used to take that one and it was it was a, a relaxing pill. It was a very good one. I, I tried that and it worked for me. All right. What else? Any other suggestion, uh, Romulo? Yes, uh, sometimes it's functional. Do exercise. It's good. Early, you mean early during the day or uh early early uh, okay it's, it's yeah. not recommended uh, at, at night no it's, it's it's no functional but early yes all right oh, hi hello andrea i agree romulo teacher you agree with romulo so she has to exercise during the day yes okay and i lay that can read a book in the night oh yeah that works too that works too reading a book at night with a low light low yeah. light yes yes with a, not with the big light on but with a low light trust me it works it works you'll fall asleep with the book on your on your face probably <laughs> but it, it's it's good it works all right hey that was very good look we we had a we had a long talk about that. Great. Hey, uh, now let's see somebody else's problem. Uh, Claudia, what about you? What is yours? Problem is similar to Romulus. Okay, what is it? My neighbor have many cups. Too much cups. Too many? Like how many is too many to you? Sometimes uh, they have four or five, but when one of them have uh, kitties, uh -huh, yes, it's correct, kitties, yeah, kitten. Mm -hmm. So there are more. Okay. Nine, ten, I don't know. What? <laughs> and it smells horrible. It smells horrible. Okay. So, what do you think she should do? <laughs> Any advice? <laughs> Any advice that doesn't involve brutality? Uh, very difficult. difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> Give you <Yes>. advice. <laughs> what, what was that? I know. Teach wow. it. Yes? You can say one, oh, okay. one advice. One advice to her, mm, tell your neighbor 
it, it, it really, you, you know, you're getting a really bad smell and tell and go visit them and, t and get inside and tell them, you it smells bad in here. How many cats do you have? Yeah, or, or tell we them. Do, we do that. Really? We do that. Uh, they don't care. Ha have you told them that you, you have gotten sick? Because that bad yes. smell makes you sick. Yes. Makes you sick too. We Yes. Right? It, it makes you uh, sick. Yes. And they don't understand. No, no. They wow. love them. <laughs> you know, I like cats. I like cats. Uh, my my <laughs> mother has one. They're they're cute, but one one is good enough. One is enough. Yeah, a cat. It, cats are great pets. They they are they are awesome, but only one. But a bunch of cats. That's that's insane. The these people yeah. need to know how to handle that. Yeah, and I think you can also sue them, right? She can. I think you can sue them if they if they're annoying. Can, can she? Anybody? Does anybody know if she can do that? Mm. Maybe in the place where the cats arrive, mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, you could put the water <laughs> what, with um, bicarbonato. Eso, uh? Yeah. I don't know. What do you say? And this is, this is the, the heating no, uh, no rise in this place. Oh. For bad smell. Okay, so it kills the smell. Because... Oh, okay. Good. Because I, because we put bleach, bleach water with soap. Okay. Detergent, oh. but okay. any works. Okay. <laughs> Vinegar works for the yeah. other. And uh, that Vinegar. Is, uh -huh. That is new. All right. Yeah, vinegar too. Vinegar is a, is a good one too. Great. So look, here uh, we had a, we gave suggestions to our classmates problems. So in a way, in a way, what we also do in a focus group is uh, listening to others, giving suggestions and, uh, and also coming up with problems. How many of you have been in a focus group? Focus group. How many of you have been in a focus group? Do you know what that is? I think we call them grupos focales, if I'm not mistaken. Grupos focales. If I'm not mistaken, do you know what that is? Yeah? Yes. Okay, what what is that about, Romulo? Yes, it's a it's a method that uh, uh, allowed you uh, consult uh, everywhere uh, problem or uh, uh, you can uh, can get a, a data or opinions and um. yeah are. In, uh, make a, a statistic to you too. Okay. Or 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 uh, you can get a suggestion too. All right. About the focus group, uh, about the specific problem or different problems. All right. So let, let's start doing a little uh, brainstorming about focus groups. Okay. Let's do a little. Jesus, that that's nothing. Sorry. Okay. Um. All right. So. Focus groups. So focus groups. Let's put that in the middle. Focus groups. What things can we do in a focus group? Well, uh, we can uh, we can uh, elicit problems, right? Elicit problems. What's elicit? Uh, elicit is uh, to bring problems. Como como as como eh, mencionar problemas o hacer que la gente mencione problemas, that, uh, que mencione algo. Por ejemplo, 
I elicit answers from you. O sea, yo hago que ustedes me den las respuestas, right? So we can elicit problems in a focus group. What else can we do? Romulo said something too. We can give. Give what? Buy su suggestions. Okay, suggestions. All right. What else? What else? I think we can give some ideas about product or All right. All right. All right, we can brainstorm. All right, brainstorm what's going on. And uh, we can uh, give options, right? Give options and uh, say solutions. One second. One second. Uh, say uh, when my user say me, I have a problem, I need a uh, development software uh, of help me uh, with uh, uh, accounts countable, maybe. Uh, okay, so support, right? Yeah, you get support, any kind yes. of support. All right. That's good. So these are one of the one of the few, I mean one of the many things that you can do in a focus group. You can elicit problems, brainstorm ideas, like any types of any types of ideas, like uh like uh for example new projects uh and uh also also problems, you know, brainstorm problems or solutions. We can uh, give psychological support, give suggestions. And one thing that is very important is listening. Listen to others, okay? Listen to others. We are very concentrated on our own problems, right? So in a focus group, we have the chance to listen to somebody else's concerns okay so we have a, a chance to listen to others you know other people's concerns Escuche, tenemos la oportunidad de, de oír las opiniones o los problemas que otros tienen que otros compañeros tienen so these are some of the things that we can do in on a, in a focus group so it allows us it, we change communication right Usually in a job, communication is unilateral, uh, unilateral, right? Communication goes like, uh, you know, it's in one direction only, which is probably a little sad, you know, it's unilateral, right? From your boss to you, from your boss to you. But in a focus group, it's kind of a, it's kind of a cycle, you know, like everybody can, wait, please guys, uh, let's try to, okay, so uh, in a focus, in a focus group is different, really different. We have a kind of cycle communication. So it's not from top to bottom, you know, not from your boss to you, but it's rather, uh, it's rather cycle, uh, in a cycle kind of way. We listen to each other, all right? That's a good thing about it too. All right, good. All right, guys, uh, let's continue moving on. Any questions so far? You guys have any questions so far? Nope. Okay, we will we'll just uh, we'll move on and let me share something else here with you. All right, right here. 
right here we are going to check on uh, some uh, focus groups all right and organizing this is today's objective omar can you read today's uh, objective please uh, into the cycle or yeah, wait let me see what i'm sharing is uh, let me share my screen again yeah just this i was all right Omar, can you now? I think we can. All right, now can you read the cycle, please? Uh, the the objective for today. Organize a basic plan to run a focus group to test a product. Okay, very good, very good. One more time, if we say that focus. All right, I'll spell that here. I'll focus. spell that here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It go. It, it sounds like. Wait, it sounds like this. I'll put it here. It sounds like this, like focus. 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 All right, focus. That, uh, that, this is a very slight you. Focus. Okay. So that's how it sounds like. Focus group. All right. Good, good. So, uh, yeah, now let's go ahead and read these questions. So, please, uh, Jose, can you read the questions? Sure. Mm -hmm. Have you made any progress with the uh, simple... No, sorry, sorry, the questions, please, here, to the uh, number sorry, one. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Uh, is there a way to predict if product will be accepted by the consumer? Would you like to be a product tester? Have you heard about the term focus group? All right, good, good. So uh, now let's find out. Great. So uh, is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the consumer or not? What do you think? Is there a way we can know if our product will be accepted by the consumer or not? Anybody? Yes, there are. Yeah? Which yes. ways? A different me different yes. metal test. That, All right. Uh, before learned. <laughs> ah, okay, good. This is a method. Oh, those are the methods. Yes, those are the methods. We use we use these methods to find out if the product will be will work, if the consumers will like it, right? Okay, great. Anybody, would you like to be a product tester? And what kind of product tester would you like to be? Let's answer these this question in the chat okay great so please first if you would like to be a product tester say yes okay yes and then you say what kind of products i would like to be a a guitar guitar tester okay i would like to test guitars all right, so I would like to be a guitar tester or probably a car one. So now you tell me, a car tester, it is, says uh, a car tester. Yes, all right. Let's see, how about the others, please? Great, Iris, why, why a car tester? Why would you like to be a car tester? Tell us, please. All right, of luxury cars, hmm? Interesting. A coffee one, Andrea, why would you like to be a coffee tester? Now, when I ask you why, please uh, speak, okay? When I ask you the question, why, speak, all right? All right, good. So, uh, Andrea said uh, a coffee tester. Why, Andrea, why a coffee tester?
because is necessary uh, conocer to know because to know um, la aceptabilidad the acceptability okay the acceptability of the product for customer okay great great thank you now let's continue let's continue here we have more all right uh we have here and you're for answering uh aries aries said a luxury car tester why why aries why a luxury uh, car tester why i i prefer or or why it's necessary to do the test uh, why why do you want to be why would you like to be a, a uh, okay car okay i i love luxury and uh, fancy things and i love cars and uh, the drive too fast and it's, oh. In a luxury car <laughs> Okay, all right. So you might be one reckless driver, huh? <laughs> nah, not exactly. <laughs> not exactly, okay. Reckless driver, okay? Reckless driver. That's like a dangerous driver, okay? Iris isn't, she says. I'll believe her. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, somebody said over here, coffee one. Let me see. A wine tester. Uh, well, Maria Belen, why? Why would you like to be a wine tester? Because it's important to test it to wine. If, if you don't like it, don't buy. Okay. For me, it's important. Yes. Yeah, all right. Uh, For you, it's important. And, uh, and uh, why would you like to be? Uh, wine tester why because is it because you like wine a lot or yes yes because i like the wine mm -hmm. okay you like wine too all right good great thank you let's see and uh, somebody said arabella said a covid vaccine tester wow that's a tough one all right why, why, Arabella? Why would you like to be a COVID-19 vaccine tester? I think it's very important to uh, find the uh, cura. The cure? And the cure, yes. yes. And it's, it's necessary uh, I do lo que se tenga que hacer. You do whatever possible. Yes. Do, okay. You do, perdón. Whatever, you do, whatever, whatever possible. Wherever possible. Wherever possible. Possible. Okay, whatever possible. Yes. To help people, right? Yes. Yeah, all right. So for you, it's for you to help people. Hey, uh, I heard, I heard Aleda said, uh, WhatsApp beta tester, but why WhatsApp beta? Tell us. Um, because they need to test if it works. It works before lunch. Um, to correct mistakes. To correct mistakes. All right. All right. Good. So they have to test it before lunch. And hey, let me ask you. I don't know much about it, and that's why I'm asking you. Uh, what's the difference between WhatsApp and WhatsApp beta? Yes. I think uh, WhatsApp, it's uh, the production app uh, in the Play Store or App Store, but the beta What's a beta? Beta? What's no? What's a beta? Right? Yeah. What's a beta? Yes. What's a beta? It's a other uh, application with uh, others fun functions, oh, right? Okay. Uh, they are trying to test some functions, and you try it, and you send your feedback like, 
now this is not work for me or yeah it's okay this is so cool and uh, they they put the beta functions to product uh, whatsapp release up oh i see i see so you can actually be a tester yes you can uh, open the play store uh, search the the group up no the group beta testers and you can subscribe it wow yeah mm -hmm. uh, you see it later you can try it yourself all right good so this has new functions right he has some new functions okay interesting like it hey now uh let's see let's uh keep uh, asking so somebody said uh a chocolate tester claudia why a chocolate tester because i like chocolate all right good and I it's important uh, test the chocolate all right good so are you are you a chocolate connoisseur you know like a a, a kind of person that ta uh, that tastes uh different kinds of chocolate and uh, decides which one she likes best or you just like any kind of chocolate what's your what's your uh your your relationship with it i like uh, all flavors and i consider uh, i will like uh, taste uh, new flavors okay so you like to taste new flavors all right good favorite chocolate what's your favorite chocolate uh, with almonds almonds all right black good. black chocolate Yes, black, black is the one. And in fact, some people say if your chocolate is too sweet, it's not chocolate, right? It's not good. Yeah, yeah, but, but experts say <laughs> that if your chocolate is too oh. sweet, it, it's not chocolate. It's a candy. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> yeah, the experts say. Say. Well, a friend of mine, a friend of mine makes chocolates. He makes chocolates and uh, he says that if, if it's too sweet, it's not chocolate. It's a candy. Experts. <laughs> All right. Good. Uh, let's see. So uh, Mario says a food. Test. Okay. Mario, why a food test? What kind of food would you like to test, please? Uh, well, I don't know um, uh, many type of food. I think it's going to be interesting because it like to go into the jungle and sometimes can be dangerous, sometimes can be sweet, can be safe, can be normal. Okay. All right. Good. Good. All right. Thank you. And Omar says uh, a perfume tester or, a, or a, a cologne tester. Why, Omar? I uh, really love citrus essence. Uh, mm -hmm. A good aroma, a good aroma, aroma. Yes. Mm, and that perfume lasts all day, but isn't strong for that reason, the citrus. All right. So. Good. And uh, do you collect uh, collect perfumes or colognes like for fun, like as, as a hobby? Yes, of course, t-shirts. I uh, a little bit of that uh, cologne. Okay. So you house. so you collect colognes as a hobby, right? There are some people that that they probably don't use them, don't wear them, but they buy them just to collect the bottles for fun. Yeah, I love for the production. Bottles. Yeah. I love the bottles. Oh, you love the bottles, the, the bottles too. You like see? Oh, it's you see she has a I prefer. All right. <laughs> just for fun, right? Just for fun. Yes. Good, good. That's actually, that's actually a, a nice hobby. All right. Very good. 
Thank you for your opinions, guys, and thanks for sharing here. So uh, <clears throat> we will learn how to organize a focus group. So let's check on how this happens. All right, great. So let's quickly read uh, this conversation. All right, so let's have uh, two people. We're going to have, uh, I guess, uh, Mario. Yeah, let's, yeah, Mario. And, uh, all right, girl who's being quiet. And uh, Andrea reading this conversation. If you can, please. Mario and Andrea. I am Fernanda. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you'll be Fernanda. Okay, well, it will be my steps. Yes, I guess. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay. Had you made any process with the sample selection from the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Mm -hmm. Will we work with targets and random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring, monitoring, yeah. monitoring each group and the location of each. Mm -hmm. Please. You're right. You're right. Because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. sample. Yes. Your mom. Your mom. Your mom. Further. 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 Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I will meet Locus today in the afternoon when we work on it. Okay. All right. Very good. Because you're out of battery. Yeah, I'm running out of battery. So I'm gonna I'm looking for my plug here. Yeah. Okay, back in. Charge in. All right, thank you. So you guys, uh now look what it what is uh what are these people doing? They are getting ready to run a focus. Focus group. Okay, so they're getting ready for running a focus group study. All right, the focus group is not ready yet, but they are. They are. Uh, they're trying to to make it, you know to get ready for it. All right, so they're planning, and that's what we're doing. We are we are planning. Uh, focus group as a uh, uh, in pairs all right so we'll discuss that later all right and uh, we'll also have a uh, look at how some uh, enterprises do that too great hey hey guys uh, please let's read uh, these questions and answer them based on the let on the reading and we'll work in pairs for this so let me first Take a picture of this, put it on your WhatsApp group, and uh, then we share answers. All right, there it goes. Teacher. So yes? Check your uh, charge or your battery. Yeah, it's charging already. Yeah, it's yeah. Thank God it's charging, but I had a very oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Ramalo. Otherwise, I'll be disconnected. But but I'm I'm okay here. So guys, uh, that's the reading, and I will also put the the questions in the in the grip so you can answer them together. All right. 
I'm gonna we're you're gonna work in small groups and answer these questions together and then uh, together and then you share your answers. All right. So let's uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, make small groups. All right. So read the conversation and answer the questions, the pair work questions. All right. The questions are already in your WhatsApp group, all right? There we go. So please uh, take the invitation, Res uh, accept the invitation. All right, good. Just a second, guys. Here is. All right, there he goes. Please accept the invitation. All right, let's go ahead and check on group number one. Okay. Maybe. Is the one I Moses and your Fernando? Yeah. Only, only, I see. Okay. All right, guys, uh, please answer the questions. Okay, answer uh, the also, questions in the conversation. Uh, I sent you the the uh, the conversation yeah you can practice it but answer the questions at the end yeah. okay right. yeah that's what you do how many focus group will participate in the test mm -hmm. uh, three three focus groups yeah with uh, they say three three groups is first sentences how many focus group will participate in their test all right good i'll go check on the other groups all right what type of sample as for them to select their testing um, um, maybe it's a random random sample because we want to find out the world perception we will go we for a random to, sample. Because we want to find out the overall perception of the pro will we will go for a random sample. Mm-hmm. No, no sé qué es random. 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 Yeah. Ran yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. Sorry. Yeah, a random uh random means uh means in no particular order you see Como al azar. no particular yeah in, ah, okay not in, in in no particular order like however whatever comes first or, Aleatoria. yeah that that all right so okay like a la garduña yes mm -hmm. oh, okay <laughs> yeah <That's laughs> like, a <laughs> like a caiga yeah yeah very uh, and random random Randoms. Yeah, good. Randoms. I'll go check on the other groups, all right? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. How are you doing, girls? Hi, teacher. Finish, teacher. You finish? You answer the questions? Yes. All right, great. Very good. So I'll go check on the other groups, all right? Okay. Any questions about uh, vocabulary in here? No? Furthermore. Yeah, further. Yeah, uh, yes, that's what it means. These are two words like in addition and, and uh, furthermore, 
mean the same? Significan lo mismo, como además o aparte de. Mm -hmm. Yes, son como, como les dicen como Conector. nexos. No. Ah, conectores nexos. Yeah, that, that's what they are. Great. So I'll go check on the other groups. Okay. All right. Good. Oh, wait. There it is. Jose, let's check on uh, Jose. All right, good. Hey, you guys finished? Yeah. Yes. All right, awesome. So I'll go ahead and uh, and uh, check on the other group. Just okay, okay, see okay. What's going on here? All right. Uh, Anna Lillian and Mario. I think just this, right? Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> hey, doing just fine. Hey. Um, you know, today I'm going to test uh, for another uh, another form to work. Now I'm connect to another computer. <laughs> okay, in a different and computer. I think it's a little bit more fluid. A yes. little bit more fast. I think, and I listen better. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. That's good. Sorry, That's good. Yeah. So, it, it, you actually sound better the i mean the audio quality sounds better too is your daughter in a class too or only yes. you no she is in the class too but we change the computer you know she has an especial especialization teacher what about the what's the meaning of uh i think it's a graduation course oh yeah uh-huh because it's that's why we have to come compartir Sure, yeah. Sure, uh -huh. sure. The internet in this time. <laughs> All right. You know, yeah. I, I had to change computer. I used to, uh, in the first classes, mm -hmm. I had a very old computer that I got in 2010. So, My, it, so and it is so hard. It is so, so yes. complicated too, because, you know, I am coming to very stress too much. Yes, true but, that. True. Yeah, but we have to try to <laughs> you, you don't enjoy you don't enjoy no. working in an old computer. You know, it's because it's more expressing to enjoy it. Yeah. It, it's very frustrating. Uh -huh. Like uh, you open a, a new tab on the internet, it takes forever. Yeah, yes yeah, it, it is. It's horrible, very frustrating. I really hate it, but, but especially I, I, when uh -huh. especially when one or more people is connected at the same time. This mm -hmm. is the problem. Yeah. Because the last time, teacher, I didn't have a problem with this. Yes. Yeah, true. Uh -huh. Just now, but but we have to try to do. <laughs> yes, true that. True. Yes. All right, good. I'll go check on the, I think there is an, there is an Omar. All right, great. I'll go check on them. Okay. Thank right. you. At least, great job, at least. Por lo menos es verdad. At least es por lo menos. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, you, you guys answered the questions already? Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I finished right. yet. Oh, you finished already. Awesome. So, you know what? I'll go check on the... Uh, we're going to go back to the main session. All right? Vamos a regresar. All right. Good. Okay. Bye. Right. Thank you. Shane, how are you? How are you, teacher? Doing all right. How about you? You were driving first, right? No, my my brother drive. Oh, your brother was driving. Okay, all right. So he was driving you. Yes. Okay, good. My brother here. Yeah, great. That is. Oh, I see, I see. So he, your brother drove you, all right. What's up, brother? <laughs> I'm on fire! <laughs> cool. Welcome to the angle, welcome to the angle. Let's my fire! <laughs> oh my God. So he speaks English too. I speak English very well to suffer, right? <laughs> yeah, he sounds like, cool. And you, you guys have a mud too, huh? <laughs> 
Yeah, cool. <laughs> hey, that's that's a nice house. All right. Good. So everybody, great. I'm glad you're back. Hey, let's uh I'm gonna run attendance first and then I'm gonna check on your questions. All right. So first uh, let's run attendance. Just give me a second, please. what happened okay just one second guys all right so here we have a uh, jose jose enrique de la o salazar present okay um i'm gonna skip all of these ones romulo pompilio romero torres present iris dorotea sanchez figueroa acevedo it is, it is. I'm it is? here. Okay, it is was here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Claudia Evelyn Hernandez. Present. Okay. Uh, Maria Belen Quintanilla Barquero. Maria Belen. Present. Got you. And uh, Omar Inmer Gámez Linares. I'm here. Thank you. Ana Lilian González de Peraza. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Shane Zohar Deming Cabrera. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And uh, Arabella Parada Gámez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mario Enrique Zelaya. Present teacher. Okay, good. Gloria Beatriz Elias Alegría Oriana. Hey, Gloria, yeah, Beatriz is not here today. All right, good. Elias Samuel Oriana Perez. I'm afraid he's not here. Adolfo Jonathan Rodriguez Parada. Yeah, Jonathan is not here either. Aleida Elizabeth Juarez de Guevara. Present. Okay, got you. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejia. Present. Got you. And uh, Camila Calles Minero. Present. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for uh, responding. So now let's go ahead and uh, check on uh, your work. All right, good. So question number one goes like this. Question number one goes like this. So it, it says, how many focus groups will participate in this test? How many? Please. Three. Three, Three focus three groups. groups. All right. Three focus groups. Okay, good. And uh, what, uh, this is an extra question. How many participants will there be? 24. 24. 24. 24 participants. Awesome. Thank you. Very good. And uh, what type of a sample has uh, Fernanda selected for mm -hmm. their testing process? A random sample. A random, random sample. sample. A random sample. Uh, okay, no. random sample. Okay. All right. Very good. And uh, finally, who will design the questionnary? Moses. Moses and Lucas. Moses and Lucas. All right, Moses and Lucas. Okay, good. Well, let's see what they have for the questionnaire. All right, great. Good job, guys. All right, now we're going to check on uh, on uh, how Trivago, Trivago, how many of you have heard about Trivago? We haven't heard about Trivago lately, huh? But how many of you have heard of Trivago? What's their business? What do they do? And they is they uh, promotional to the packets for vacations, right? Mm -hmm. they, it's a hotels, uh, flights, and etc. All right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's their job. 
they uh, they organize, uh, or better say, they sell trip trip <laughs> packages, right? Yes. Anybody else? Anybody else, has anybody else heard about uh, heard about Trivago's uh, business? What do they do? Here they uh, they can how do you say booking uh, mm -hmm. your your rooms on the hotels too. Okay, good. They do that. They book your hotel room. Uh, what else? I, I think they, they can organize everything like Expedia does, right? They book your hotel room. They uh, help you get in the, the flight, right? So they can, they can organize everything for you, right? Right, good. So uh, let's see how they work things out, all right? We're gonna watch a, a short video about uh, Trivago's, no, Trivago's uh, business, all right? Just a second, guys. Let me open it for you. All right, great, here, here we go. Traveling is one of the most fun parts in life, but finding a hotel can sometimes be time consuming and stressful. At Trivago, we're working on making this as fun as the actual traveling experience. There's so much information out there and we're working on bringing it all together in a clear and concise way so that our users can find their ideal hotel quickly and easily, saving time. Okay, lady. Slow it down. I'm going to put subtitles here. All right. Traveling is one of the most fun parts in life, but finding a hotel can sometimes be time consuming and stressful. At Trivago, we're working on making this as fun as the actual traveling experience. There's so much information out there, and we're working on bringing it all together in a clear and concise way so that our users can find their ideal hotel quickly and easily, saving time and money. These are the people who are working to make this happen. Our development goes through multiple stages in its life cycle, and it involves product owners, designers, developers, our quality assurance team, as well as business analysts. We start off every project uh, with a great idea or a problem we want to solve and the hardest part of my job, because we have all very great ideas, is to turn them into concept. Usually we kick things off in a brainstorming session. Afterwards we test low fidelity prototypes on real users because a good design is worth nothing if the user doesn't understand it. So with the knowledge that we gain from prototyping, we're ready to move on to the design phase. This is when we make use of our pattern library and build solutions that integrate into the live website and keep our designs consistent. While cutting edge technology allows us to deliver great advancements on the website, often new concepts shoot for the moon. It is really important during the process of developing new concepts that we remain grounded and really discuss technical feasibility within our development teams. Over 4 million people see Trivago every day, either with a phone on the subway, with a tablet on the couch, or with a computer at their desks. Our job is to make sure that they all have the same great experience. Before exposing anything to our users, we use a combination of regression and exploratory testing. As soon as something is ready though, we can release it live to our users immediately. A-B testing enables us to base our decision on real-life behavior of travelers all over the world. We are constantly trying out new features, which can be anything from changing a small detail like the color of a button to introducing completely new functionality to the website. Usually we take a data-driven approach when interpreting the test results, which makes it easier for us to decide whether a project needs to go back to the drawing board, requires further refinements, or is a success. 
The biggest challenge in Trivago is that our product is really new, so there is no um, existing formula to what we do. We're always trying new things. This can be from anything, from new features to improve the user website, to new processes, to even how we stack the dishwasher. For me, it's literally every day I have to learn something new. Every day I'm making mistakes. From every mistake that I do, I have to learn something and I have to be constantly improving, constantly asking. You have to challenge the, the status quo all the time. You cannot, you work under pressure and you cannot rest on your comfort zone. Here in Trivago, we work hard, but we also play hard. I don't feel like I'm going to the office to work. I feel like I'm coming home. What more could someone ask for? My biggest success at Trivago has been starting in a junior position one year ago and now being in charge of my own area. Trivago gives me the possibility to combine my two passions, which are my work and my children. It's the sum of all of our characters, backgrounds and experiences that result in the product that you see today. Each one of us contributes an essential part towards this journey. Great, so, well, let's see. So who would like to work at Trivago now that you see it? Well, probably their business is not so good now, but uh, who would like to work there? I want to work too. <laughs> you want to work I there? Too. Yes. Yeah, me too. You know, the, yes? the, the people is, uh, is look very happy, is relaxing, and I feel, I feel they enjoy our health job. Yeah, and Good. it's a very relaxing environment to work. Yes, yeah, absolutely. People seem very happy. Huh? And, uh, also, they don't have a regular office design. That's important too. It, it doesn't look much like a hierarchy, you know, like the uh, jefe aquí arriba, you know, the boss on top and the people below but it looks more like a circle where everybody talks, gives opinions and do their tests and, and, and uh, test the product's life. They have fun. It looks, it looks a lot like a, like a lot of fun there. So great, great. Hey, uh, did you see any type of product testing they did in there? What kind of uh, things did, did they test for people? What kind of things did you see that they tested there? A focus group. All right. Yeah, there was a focus group. Definitely. There was a focus group in there. And uh, what things do they test at, at Trivago? What things do these uh, focus groups test when they are, when they are at work? Did you see? Maybe the design of of her of the web page. Okay, the design of the website. Yes, yes. How about how do you feel when you go to a website and you can't find anything? You go to a website and you don't find where to put your information. You don't find where to log in, and everything is all over the place it feels horrible, it's frustrating, but uh, at, at Trivago, they work on uh, making things more, um, let's say more attractive to their customers, right? That's, that's, uh, that, is, that is what they, uh, that is their job, to make it's things fun. easier, easier it's to find. User friendly? Yes, that is a great yeah, I, I yeah. saw in the video the in a little part of the video they in a group talking about the user experience to a new 
account, a, a user without account, and making a brainstorm. All right. Yeah, they were brainstorming too. Hey guys, how do you feel when you go to a website and uh, they immediately want your information? They immediately want your credit card. Uh, I go and close the window and go. So uh, those are things that they test, you know, how user friendly their website is and how uh, delightful and how enjoyable that website can be. All right, good, very good. So, hey, did you see people from uh, only only American people in there, or were there people from many backgrounds? Many backgrounds. Many backgrounds. Yeah, there were people from everywhere. Like, there everywhere. were English people. There was an Argentinian woman. Did you did you listen that there was an Argentinian woman? There was there Spain. were. Mm -hmm. There were people from everywhere. That's important too, that, that you have people from everywhere and, and you can listen to different opinions. Okay, uh, very good. So in the following activity, what we're going to do is, uh, is uh, creating the strategy for a focus group, all right? We're not gonna make a, a sort of focus group now We'll work in pairs one more time and we will make a conversation similar to the one that you read where two people are planning to run a focus group, okay? All right. Before we do that though. Um, the same group teacher. Uh, same person? Yes, I hope the same person because uh, Oh, you are with your comadre, right? Yeah, that's why, huh? Oh, but, but it's okay. I think it's a good idea, too. It's a good idea. Only one. Yeah, one one person, because it's it's a pair work. So, yeah, we'll work in pairs this time. Where was it? Yeah, it's, it was right here, right? So, something similar. Hey, look. It doesn't have to be this fancy. No tiene que ser así como con las mismas palabras que el, que el diálogo. Not necessarily the same words. Hey, you can adjust it to what you know to your English. Yeah, you can challenge yourself. O sea, si pueden eh, seguir de alguna manera la estructura, utilizar ese vocabulario, that's fine. Uh, <clears throat> but, but, uh, you can you can also you can also um, you can also adjust it to your level. Okay, use your own words. Util pueden utilizar sus propias palabras. No necesariamente lo que tienen ahí porque, o sea, it, that'll be a little mechanic, right? So adjust it. Make any changes possible, but your conversation has to be about planning a focus group. All right? Got it? Got it? Is it, is it clear? What is... Okay. It? Yes, good. What is your conversation about? Uh, let's see. What is your conversation about, Claudia? What conversation? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna make a conversation. Okay, good. You're gonna make a conversation, and uh, your conversation is gonna be about uh, planning a focus group, a conversation similar to the one in your in your student's manual. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's what you're gonna do in pairs. All right. Good. So uh, we will work in pairs one more time and start editing or creating a new conversation. So here we go. Let's please accept the invitation. 
Shane, uh, can you, will you work with a pair or will you just listen? Oh, all right, so I'll just make the groups. All right, here we go. So there will, uh, all right, one second. All right, please accept the invitation, invitation sent. Good. Let's see. Uh, all right, Jose and Shane. All right, good. Shane, please uh, go to your grip. Hey guys, uh, sorry, sorry for interrupting you. I I I uh, I moved uh, Omar to your group. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, because welcome Omar. Welcome Omar. Yeah, because uh, his uh, partner didn't didn't come. So uh, please work it out as a trio. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. okay. All right. Please. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll go check on the other groups. Okay. Okay, Omar, uh, we'll think about the... Of, of 10 person, of, of 10 participate. Right, good. 10 participants. Uh-huh, of 10 participant. Um, to collect aquatic results. Yes, accurate. Yeah, good. Say accurate. All right, say one more time. Accurate, accurate result. Accurate. 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 accurate result. Result. Accurate. Yes, yes. Well what done. does accurate, accurate, accurate? Accurate, uh, accurate means uh, correct and precise. Precise, yeah. Como precisos o... Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay, thank you. All right, good. I'll go check on the other groups. Hi, pues how sí. are you doing? Oh, so that's why you wanted to work with the same person, huh? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's okay. We are working teacher. Yes, I know you are. I know you are. But more importantly, you're enjoying. You're enjoying your your work. So that's good. Uh, all right. Yeah, keep, keep going. I'll go check on the other groups. All right. I'll, okay. I will let you work. Uh, peacefully, so let's see. Have you made any progress? 
Okay. The first in one. the sec. Mm -hmm. The first one. What is the first one? You will ask me to. Do you prepare the the focus groups? Mm -hmm. And the second question is a. Uh, is, is, is correct for me? Is it what type of sample mm -hmm. you uh, run mm -hmm. for the focal groups? Yeah, all right, good, good, good job, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the first question, do you have, do you prepare the focus group? I will answer with sure from. Romulo, Rom, mm. Romulo, uh, we'll have uh, 19 participants to collect accurate results. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, because we don't have that specific topic. Help, please. Help, teacher. <laughs> Teacher, you yes. are a mute. Yeah, I, I already. <laughs> Thank so, you. So, yeah, so we yeah. are a little bit confused because I'm. I didn't start and the in the in the class. That's why I'm a little lost. Uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> but, that's okay. Uh -huh, um, but the, we have to read the article, right? Uh, no, and, no, 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 no. You, you have to. Uh, you have to create. A similar yes. conversation. A similar, uh -huh, a similar conversation like an uh, article, right? And yeah, we like, are going to make the three questions about the whatever the some some product. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, no. Look. Mm -hmm. I no. You're gonna. We already did the the questions from the article, right? Now, yes. what you're doing is uh is uh making a similar conversation. Yeah. About something in a special. Yeah, about uh, mm -hmm. about your focus group, like the one on uh, on your manual. The teacher, I yes. am I'm not very clear. What's uh, what's the meaning of focus group? It's like uh, um, I'm a little confused with with the special. The oh. focus group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a focus group is a uh, is a uh, is a strategy. Is a strategy that uh, that businesses use to collect ideas in the in the in the results. So it's something like a, like a groups to test in something in a special, right? Yes, yes. So groups to to say so answer service. Exactly. Yeah, it, they they are groups to answer surveys. Sometimes they can uh, they can be helpful to uh, to collect ideas and impressions like about about the job. So in my in one of my previous jobs, I was in a focus group, and they asked questions about how we felt at the job. They they asked us if we enjoyed our job and things like those. But uh, <laughs> they can be used for many things in uh, in our in in this uh in this uh lesson we are using focus groups for testing a product like in Trivago. in Trivago they have they have uh, these uh, focus groups and people test the product and and give their mm -hmm. opinions about about the product so it's people who testing the the how the people feeling in her job for example yes exactly in the mm -hmm. uh, you are gonna make a conversation like the one on your screen, okay? This mm -hmm. is in, yes. your, in your manual on uh, page 21. 21. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the one on page 21. So you're gonna make a similar conversation where you're planning how to run your focus group. Okay. All right? Okay, yes, Great. teacher. All right, welcome. Thank you. I'll go check on the other group. Okay. As I think I have a kind of idea about that. 
from the internet or from the some company in special. Maybe we are going to open it. Wait, you will recommend it. They use the make a questionnaire or yes. you will ask for it. No, no, no. I recommend you. Okay. Uh, you you comp 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 complement uh, the uh, mm -hmm. work together or, or, or make an appointment but okay. uh, develop the, the questionnaire. Okay. <laughs> Very, very good. Looks, looks like you guys are very busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Man. Okay. Okay. I'll go check on the other group. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hey. Also, invite a teacher uh, eating the avocado pupusa. Yes, the Where avocado pupusa? Avocado <laughs> pupusa. How? Pupusa square. Yes, and a square, a square avocado pupusa. <laughs> uh, oh, diced. Así como en cuadritos? Yes. Uh, so I think it's that that the word for that is diced. Diced. Uh -huh, diced. See. Because it's is full. Say again. Dice. What do you mean? Uh, what's the meaning of dice? Dice means something like uh, like uh, the dice you play with, el, como los dados que usted tira. Entonces a ese ah. corte, a ese corte como cuadradito, uh -huh. en inglés se le dice dice. Dice. Uh -huh. Ahí se los puse en el chat. Lo pueden ver. Pero ya entendí que la pupusa en general iba a ser cuadrada. Cuadrada. No, el aguacate. El aguacate iba a ser cuadrada. No. No. La pupusa en la, la cuadrada. Pupusa. Wow. La pupusa. Why do? Wow, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was, uh, it was different. All right. Yeah. Well, well you designed a, a square pupusa. Well, that's fine. Why not? Why not? It, it can be like a guacamole pupusa, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fine. All right. Keep keep going, guys. Keep going. Okay. Other second idea. We're still working with the other groups. All right. So you listen to their conversations later. Uh, random samples. We need to discuss who will, um, who will be monitoring each group point that's why uh, that's uh, not todo completo para no copiarlo mm -hmm. exactly so we can uh, say we will uh, will we work with a random samples we, we need to discuss who will be monitoring a group something like yeah. that I don't we will know. work mm -hmm. we, will, we will work with start with a random samples, samples. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we need to discuss uh -huh, who will be monitoring each and group. We need to discuss and who that. will be monitoring. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now, in my case, you are right because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will be more random o sample. Overall, it's mm -hmm. like uh, in, in general, we can exactly. change the mm -hmm. world. Uh, to uh, because we want to find out the in general perception of the service mm -hmm. we will go for yeah. we will be fine with a random sample yes think, yes yeah. it's fine yeah. so we can say you are right because we want to find out to other perception uh-huh in the end, it is necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get 
the specific information. The, the material. The material. Mm -hmm. For, check. Todos los materiales. ¿Va? Pero es que no, no se dice materiales. Uh, materials, yeah. <laughs> All materials. Sí, pero yo decía no materiales, sino como son pruebas, pruebas, ajá, aire. No. Again? Pruebas. I I think tests or proof yes. or what kind of pruebas you mean? Así que me quiero decir como prueba de Examen, sí. Ah, como examen, sí, podrían ser tests. Uh -huh. yeah. Ajá, revisar que todos estén como contestados. That, all right. Check every. Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo, teacher? Test response. Yeah, responses. 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 Uh -huh. so responses what, test. Test responses. What is exactly? Test. What, what, what do you exactly want to say? ¿Qué es lo que quiere así como decir? En general? Ah, que cuando re, eh, recibamos los test, hay que revisar que todos estén contestados. Ok, so we double check. Double check. Double check. Yeah, we double check that every test is answered. Sí, nosotros tenemos For tomorrow is necessary to check all the test response Yeah, that's good too That is good too. All the test responses Right, como es plural Responses Test responses Right, so Like that All right, cool Great Continue, my lady Yeah, I'll go check on the other group. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Pero, pero en eso me dijeron que, que, que me iban a esperar con los documentos. Yeah, yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> you, you girls finished? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay, good. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> so if you're ready, yeah, we'll probably wait for one more minute and then we get together and continue and share. Okay. Our conversations. I'll go check on another group, all right? You keep practicing. Okay. So, Jose and Romulo and Lilian and Mario. One second, one second. I'll just go ahead and check on this one. Okay. Are ready? You're ready. Oh, okay. We are ready. <laughs> You guys are ready. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and go back. I, I think almost everybody is ready now. Okay. All right, cool. Okay. Right, everybody is getting back. Great. All right, good. Everybody coming back. Okay, great. So, uh, well, now that you guys are back, uh, we are going to listen to your conversations. Let's just wait for a little bit. I think some are still coming. Yeah. Okay. Great. So I think we're we're complete now. 
Now, uh, let's begin with the first uh, group. Okay. So now you please share your conversation. Uh, let's speak fluently and uh, relaxed. We are in a, we are here in a, in a, in a group where we understand that we sometimes make mistakes. So uh, don't worry, okay? Be happy, keep it cool. All right. So group number one is uh, Arabella, Camila, and Omar. So you guys are first, okay? So please uh, go ahead and uh, share your conversation. Everybody else in the class, please stay silent, all right, with your microphone off. Please, go ahead. Okay. Um, our idea, our main idea is create or to make a, a squared uh, avocado pupusa. Squared avocado pupusa. Okay, great. So well, let let's hear your conversation. Let's hear your planning for for your focus group. All right, go ahead. Let's please. talk about about the that. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Like uh, the conversation. So you discuss how you are planning your uh, your your focus groups. All right. So go ahead, please. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, Omar and Arabella were planning the focus group for uh, bending the new square pupusa with avocado. Uh, we say uh, first uh, our market target target market is uh, people young and people adult because I think we are good consumers and uh, uh, we're going to three session group and in this session group uh, um, the the people answer the questionnaire uh, after um, after the taste the pupusa Okay, great. Anything else to add? The, the our uh, ram, uh, sample is a uh, is a random a random sample. We make a random sample for the uh, know the opinion of the everybody. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Great, great, very good. All right. Thank you for sharing, guys. All right. Group number two is uh, Maria Belen and Claudia. All right, go ahead, please. Hi, Claudia. Do you have a sample selection for the focus group? Yes, I think about two groups with 10 participants to collect the best ideas. Will we work with a target or random samples? We will work with a group of women. Okay, I got a place for the focus group and us will be monitoring each group. Okay, I agree. The most important thing is the capture of ideas. Great, very good. Is that over? Is that it? Yeah, great job. That was, that was really good. All right, like it. Uh, now, uh, let's see. Hang on.
All right, good. Now let's see, uh, next group is, oopsie, I have to run attendance, hang on. Hang on, wait, I have to run attendance here. Just for the ones who are not here. So uh, double checking attendance. Gloria, Beatriz, Elias, Alegría, Orellana. No está. Elias, Samuel, Orellana, Pérez, tampoco. Y Adolfo, Jonathan, Rodríguez, Parada, tampoco está. All right, good. Sorry about that. Now uh, let's go back to what we were doing. So uh, next group, let's have the next group. That is uh, Aleida and uh, Andrea. Go ahead, please. Um, we're going to talk about an uh, application, the file trial for the students living in La Union. Okay, great. Go ahead. Good morning, Andrea. We have ready the random sample for the test. Andrea? Wait. Andrea, what, what happened to your audio? I can hear you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Good morning. Good morning, Leida. Yes, it is ready. We have nine focus group of 20 students. Okay, Andrea. Tomorrow we will go to Union for the students' five test. Five test. Who will be monitoring each group? I am going to monitor five groups and you go going to monitor four groups. Okay. Furthermore, it's necessary to check all the test responses. Yes, Andrea. I am excited for the application of the five tests tomorrow. Me too. We will do an excellent job. Bye, Alida. See you, Andrea. All right. Good. Good job. Well done. All right. Thank you, guys. And uh, let's see. Let's check on the others. All right. Here we have uh, Jose and uh, Romulo. Please go ahead. Good job, girls. Now let's hear. Let's hear this voice. All right, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, hi, Jose. Hey, Romulo. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. Uh, okay. Do you know that uh, the the deadline is soon? Okay. Uh, we need to prepare the 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 information for the company, right? Yes. Uh, do you prepare the focal groups? Sure. We'll we we will have twenty participants to run the test. Uh, what type of sample uh, do you run for the testing? We will use a random sample to get the perception of the product. I recommend to select the people have the right experience of the product. Okay, uh, you know it's necessary to uh, prepare the the questionnaire, right? Right, sure. I think it's a good idea. I think it's necessary to a specific of the information. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, good. Great job. Great job, guys. All right. Great. I like it. Now I think uh, we're just missing a couple more. Yes, yes, yes. It's almost Saturday, guys. It's almost Saturday. So I think I have here uh, Anna Lillian and Mario. So that's the last group. Please go ahead. Okay. Well, our focus group is going to be Fox is going to be about the internet service. So, all right. Hi Anna, have you made any progress with the sample selection for the internet service focus group? Sure. We will have uh, two groups of five people and participants to collect information. Excellent. We will work with random samples and we need to discuss who will monitor each group. 
Uh, yes, we want to find of the overall perception uh, of the random sample. Fine, that sounds good. It's necessary, it's necessary to create a good questionnaire to get specific information. So we will meet today in the afternoon to work on that. Very good. See you then. See you then. Awesome. Good job, guys. Great job. Well, that, that was nice. So here, what we, what we did in this uh, small simulation was, uh, was planning a focus group. And if you notice, uh, let, uh, there are important elements of a focus group here in this conversation. Just to mention some, we are going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to uh, select here. We're gonna we're gonna select them, and uh, for example, if you can help me too, I would I will appreciate it. Uh, for example, here we have this select the selection of the group. That's very important when making a focus group, and uh, also this targeted or random samples so samples is important all right that's something important to decide you know you, if you select any kind of people or you have a targeted sample like uh, for example in uh, i think in uh, maria belen's and, and claudia's it was women only that that's that's actually great and uh in the also also, another important thing is the questionnaire. So those are important elements of a focus group. And uh, so now you know how to do it. I mean, you know the things you need to consider before you start one. So um, what are the elements of a focus group in this conversation? Do you remember them? First, it is? Selections. Selection of the groups, the right? Groups. Yeah. All right, good. And also, what is important? What is another important thing? The? The form. Yeah, the type. Method. Yeah, the method, or, or, or let's say the type of groups, right? If it's uh, targeted, or if it's random. And finally, uh, we have here a, is a questionnaire. Is a questionnaire, all right? Questionnaire, questionnaire. So that's good. Those are, those are the elements of a, of a, of a focus group. But, and uh, now we are going to, uh, to check on, uh, you know, little observations I made on your on your conversations, I, I'm also I'm always taking notes. Uh, so, but but it, it's it's for your own improvement. So, uh, well, one of these is uh, hey yeah. Don't forget when we say young person, young man, young woman. First goes the adjective. So we say young young people, young people, all right? Young men, all right? In English, the adjective in English the adjective goes first always all the time. The adjective goes first, so um, we say young man, young woman, and so on. All right, um, that's as to grammar. Then uh, you know, come uh, as to pronouncing. There are lots of them. Like for example, the word consumer goes like. All right, sounds like this. The word consumer sounds like consumer, right? Consumer, all right? That's how it sounds like. Uh, then another, uh, but that doesn't matter, all right? Uh, questioner, all right? The E at the end of questioner is silent. So you do not pronounce it, questioner, all right? Also, 
the plural of a uh, woman the plural of woman is women women all right and it sounds like and it sounds like uh, this like women right women that's how it sounds like and uh, oh also this it's important this is also important and there are people who even graduate from English majors and they still say this. So uh, do not say, I am agree. You say, I agree. Okay? Don't say, I am agree. In Spanish, we say, estoy de acuerdo, right? But in English, uh, in English, we do not say that. We say, I agree. See, I am. Okay? Porque agree es un verbo. Entonces, eh, no tiene que llevar el verb be antes. Ok. I agree. All right. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. I am agree is incorrect. All right. And uh, finally, oh yeah. Plural of uh, responses. Responses. I don't think that's a big deal. And uh, also the word vocabulary. Excited. Ok. When you want to say that you're happy about it, about something, you say, I'm uh, excited, all right? I'm excited about something, all right? Excited. I see, cuando uno dice, I'm, it, I'm excited about, you know, about my new job, for example. Eso significa que usted está como feliz o, o que usted está como... Emocionado. Uh, ajá, ajá. Ok, algo así. Pero cuando decimos con ING... Excited, uh, exciting, nos referimos a algo que es muy emocionante. ¿Ok? ¿Ven la diferencia entre el ED y el ING en este caso? Excited es cuando uno está emocionado, ¿verdad? And uh, exciting with ING, it refers to uh, algo que es emocionante. Like, for example, a, a, a game or an activity, a hobby. A movie, so, uh, sure. so yes, Romulo. When when uh, we use uh, amazing, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, amazing is is uh, is correct. This amazing word, amazing, uh, amazing people. Or? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's 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 correct. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That it is okay to use it. Amazing is like saying wonderful. Or something that is really, really good. So yes, you you can use that. That is that is a great, uh, a good adjective for describing things or even people. So she's amazing, you know. Or like Bruno Mars' song goes, like uh, you are amazing just the way you are. Okay, it's an adjective okay. for describing people. Guys, uh, I think you have uh, done a very, very good job. So. Clap to yourselves, everybody. Wow. Clap to yourself. Yes, you did a really good job this week, and uh, and especially because it's the week after vacation, so it's difficult to concentrate and, and get back. But uh, again, congratulations, and uh, I really hope you have a wonderful weekend. Please work on your assignments up to two point eight homework two point eight. Para que vayan a la mitad, cabal, ¿ok? Y la próxima semana hacen la otra mitad de la unidad 2, porque la unidad 2 es como bastante larga, ¿ok? So, I'll see you Monday, all right? Take care of yourselves. Hey, thank Bye, you. teacher. Have a nice, nice. Bye. Have a good weekend. Monday. You too. Exciting. All right. Yeah, take care. Take care.